Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. My name is Jay and you're watching Cloud of Reactions. Happy Halloween everybody, or if this video comes out after Halloween, then I hope you guys had a good Halloween. Hope you guys got some candy. Hope you guys had some fun with your family members. I mean, I love me some trick-or-treating. Let me know, does anybody out there even celebrate Halloween? I mean, I personally partake in the festivities, but I'm not going over here chopping chicken heads and like hanging them from like the ceiling of my house or anything like that. Just, you know, buy a little decorations, buy a little bit of candy, leave it on the front porch. Or even if you guys don't do any of that, like just curling up, turning off the lights and putting on a good horror flick with a little bit of popcorn. Yes, yes, who can say no to that? Any hoosers, so now we're on track five of the Art of War album and it is titled Unbreakable. Well, I wonder which uh, Sun Tzu quote this song is gonna be derived from but i don't really know the quotes anyway so even if i even if they make it plain as day i probably won't even know so we're gonna go ahead and get this reaction started um if you guys are new to the channel welcome and if you're not so new welcome back by holding out baits he keeps him on the march then with a body of picked men he lies in wait for him Okay, this is the quote that they're going to talk about in the song. Just like how they did in the Art of War track. Then, with the body of picked men, he lies in wait for him. By holding out baits, he keeps him on the march. Then, with a body of picked men, he lies and wait for them. So, setting up a trap or an ambush with just a small group of men. Like a little splinter of just maybe 5, 10 guys. Maybe 15. It's under crimson skies, hell's horizon, our trap will spring unaware of our presence, so we march and straight to the doom. So we're talking about an ambush then. Okay, Sabaton's kind of slowing it down a little bit with this track. Yeah, so the, the plan has been set into motion. I'm, so we're talking about ambush here. So that, that's pretty cool how they're really capturing the moment, what they're about to do. Hey, we baited you. Come on in. You're finally here. Will they say wait until, we'll strike at dust and fight till dawn? They will not live to tell the tale. They just left no survivors. Dead men marching, they don't even know they're dead either. They're marching to their doom and they don't even realize it. Yo, that's creepy. They'll never know. We'll give no warning. They're just gonna get 
The surprise attack, man. I'm assuming that's what this is about. Yeah, as a, you know, setting up a trap, an ambush, a surprise attack. Man, that is intense. Gives me goosebumps a little bit. Wow. Whoa, wait, okay. Oh, okay. They just did a whole beat switch. So I thought when they picked up the pace, I thought that was just their their solo for the song. Then they started singing over it. It's like, wait a minute, no, this is a beat switch. Okay, I'm ready for this. Unbreakable War Machine. What's the tie into the Unbreakable? What's Unbreakable? Kind of, it's kind of throwing me off the title. So it's clearly about, like I said, ambushing and like surprising the enemy, taking them off guard, enticing them into a trap. So I don't get what what's Unbreakable. The title throwing me off. I think they chose the wrong title for it. But then he did mention mentions it. He mentions the title: A Storm, A Force, Unbreakable War Machine. If you're <laughs> approaching the battlefield tactically, if you're actually like I said, uh, slowing your roll, observing all your options, instead of just going gung-ho firing, you are going to be unbreakable. You are going to be an unbreakable war machine. Just like Corollis Rex, like they were talking about in um, History Vita for The Art of War. Just like Corollis Rex, and just like Napoleon, just like Alexander the Great, like these guys had unbreakable war machines because they used their brain. They used strategy. They slowed, like, like I said, they slowed their roll a little bit, took a deep breath, took a step back, and assessed their options. So I guess in that sense it could be unbreakable. I don't know, I, you know, please let me know if I'm wrong on that too. I'm making all kinds of assumptions this video. Wow. And I'm loving the, man, the first part of the beat too, I'm, I loved it. And this fast paced one, it's like two songs in one, man. I haven't heard like two songs in one type of vibes since the Cruelest Rex album. Since I literally heard two different sets of lyrics for like the same song. So I think that's pretty cool. Good times.
Victims of the ambush Stains the ground with blood Fields of execution Murderous blood Damn, damn. Hey man, Sabaton with this album, they have not missed a song so far. Like right now, I'm not gonna lie, Primo Victoria had a couple songs like Stalingrad and um, Counter Strike for sure, where like I like the sound, I like the, the, the meaning behind the song, the actual history event, but the song didn't really hit me. Like I didn't really get too much into it. This album so far man four tracks in a row ghost division i got it all written down right here on my car on my uh clipboard ghost division art of war 40 to 1 now unbreakable we're not even halfway through the album guys and like so far every song is a hit no misses also guys somebody left in the comment section down below a link to like a more specific um how the blitzkrieg work because i guess because of ghost division then a few tracks towards the end of primo victoria where they talked a little about the blitzkrieg Apparently my understanding about, about it was kind of off and somebody generously left a little link down below for me to kind of like Educate myself a little bit more about so I am actually gonna react to that and I just want to let you guys know beforehand Like I am gonna post like videos like that where I'm reacting to like history videos, too But anyways, that's a video for another time might be tomorrow might be the day after it might be after this video I don't know. I don't really have no schedule for myself really, but hey, hope you guys enjoy the reaction I certainly enjoyed the video if you guys enjoyed the reaction. Please leave a like Leave a little comment down below. Hope everybody has a nice day. Nothing but positive vibes. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.